Continuous glucose monitors. CGMs are changing the game. Everyone's tracking their blood sugar now. They're watching the spikes and the dips like it's the stock market. They're trying to hack their metabolism. But here's what nobody's talking about. CGMs only show you half the picture because it's not just about blood sugar, it's about insulin. And insulin is the real boss of your metabolism. Most people are flying blind, so let's fix that. CGMs give you real-time blood sugar data, which is awesome, but they don't show you how much insulin your body is pumping out in response. And that's a big deal because insulin decides whether you're burning sugar, breaking down muscle, or finally dipping into those fat stores. Today I'm gonna to break it all down and I'm gonna show you why your energy isn't just about what's on your plate, but what's in your environment. Here's what happens. You eat carbs, your blood sugar rises. Your CGM catches that, but behind the scene, your body's releasing insulin like crazy to get that sugar out of your bloodstream. Insulin is like the on-off switch for fat burning. So when insulin is high, you're burning sugar. When insulin is low, you can burn fat, but here's the catch. Insulin doesn't just spike and disappear. It can stay elevated for hours, even when your CGM says your blood sugar is back to normal. So on a graph, it might look stable, but metabolically, you're still stuck in sugar burning mode. And now people always are asking, can I track insulin in real time? Not yet, but honestly, you don't need to. If you understand how your meals affect your blood sugar, you can predict insulin. Think of it like this, a big bowl of cereal, big insulin spike. Steak and avocado, low and slow. And the goal isn't to obsess over insulin or blood sugar, it's to understand them and then keep it in check by managing your food choices. All right, so let's zoom out. Food is not your only energy source. Your body responds to light and that changes everything. Just like plants use photosynthesis, your cells use something called chroma synthesis. That's right, your mitochondria, the little power plants in your cells, they respond to sunlight and infrared light. This helps your body produce more ATP, your cellular energy, and that makes insulin work better. And this is why red light therapy works and why morning sunlight boosts your metabolism. So it's not just woo woo, it's physics. So the more natural light equals better mitochondrial function equals better insulin sensitivity, which means more energy, better fat burning, and a smoother metabolism overall. So here's the big picture. CGMs show your blood sugar, but insulin controls your fat burning switch. Need to track insulin, just understand how to influence it. And your body doesn't just run on food, it runs on light. Chromosynthesis is real and it's a game changer for your metabolism. And if this shifted how you think about metabolism, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you wanna dive deeper into chromosynthesis, your body's hidden energy system, check out my chromosynthesis video where I break it all down. See you in the next video.